the gear that we take with us on a backpacking trip is critical to the experience that we have, right? And I've got several luxury gear items that I love to take that are absolutely not necessary, but they do make the experience that much more enjoyable. All right, so item number one is a good backpacking chair. I seriously love taking a chair with me on a backpacking trip because I do not enjoy sitting on the ground. I have really bad posture and I find that when I'm sitting on the ground, my back just aches and I just am not comfortable. And so having a chair makes a huge difference in my experience and my comfort level being out on a trip. And I've really, really been enjoying this chair right here, the Big Agnes Skyline UL. This chair is a bit taller in your sitting height but it has a way more comfortable seat and it's just a better design in my opinion. You have. Besides the price point of $150 for this chair, it's not cheap. It is a high quality, probably what I would recommend as the best backpacking chair option for you to use and I love taking a chair on a backpacking trip. The next thing we'll talk about is a high quality stove. And of course, a stove for a lot of people is an essential gear item, but using a stove that also has a regulator in it, especially for cold temperatures or for high elevation scenarios, something like this Fire Maple Polaris stove that has a built-in regulator, this is definitely a high quality, almost a luxury type of item that I very, very much enjoy over some of the other options out there because of those performance aspects. And another Fire Maple product, which not sponsored by Fire Maple, but this is absolutely a luxury piece of gear that I just picked up recently. This is the Orange Lantern and it runs off of these butane canisters or if you've got an adapter, you can attach it to a propane, like one pound uh, Coleman canister. I thought it'd be really cool to have a uh, different type of lighting source when you're just sitting around camp and such. And so the Fire Maple Orange Lantern, absolutely not necessary for backpacking, but is it cool? And does it add some ambiance and experience to your trips? Yeah, absolutely. So that makes it exciting and enjoyable. So a couple more things here that are more cold weather specific items are some down products. And one of these is down booties. I actually was somebody that was like, then I'm never gonna use down booties. Why do I want to carry these? And I gotta tell you, these are game changer. They make such a difference in your ability to sleep warm and just be more comfortable in camp. Just a simple piece of gear that is very, very lightweight, packs up to the size of a tennis ball and these make a huge difference in your overall experience when you're out because they add warmth, they add comfort, and they're just simply fantastic. The next is another down product, and these are down pants. These are my marshmallow pants. They make me look like the marshmallow man, but these make a huge difference, again, in comfort and in cold weather settings like this. So down pants make a huge, huge difference in your experience and your ability to keep yourself warm when you're out in cold weather settings. Then, two more items. This is something that I have actually really enjoyed. And what it is, is a little insulated sack. So basically a koozie, but it's a koozie for your dehydrated meals or your freeze dried meals. When you are needing to make sure that they get rehydrated all the way, this makes a big difference in the ability for the meal to stay warm for a longer period of time while everything in there is rehydrating. And this is uh, just one that I got off of Amazon. It's very simple. It's like a Tyvek lunch sack. So it's not built for backpacking necessarily, but it works. It's got like an insulated foam type of material on the inside and then it's Tyvek on the outside so it's super lightweight. I've got it linked down in the in the description for you to check that out. And the last thing we'll talk about that is a luxury gear item um, but again here in cold weather settings a little table like this this is from Snow Peak. This makes a big difference in being able to 
put my uh, cook pot and my stove and everything on here and be able to get my canister off of the cold snow. And my stove performs better because of it. And I've got a place to put my spoon. I've just got something to set things on that for a very minimal lightweight package, but it makes a big, big difference in the ability to enjoy yourself when you're out on a cold weather outing like this, but also just in general. If you find yourself in the desert, sand everywhere can be annoying. This is awesome to have. I appreciate you guys watching today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you in the next one. See you later.